if you speak about performance, it looks more like an ordinance government because uh, uh, you see it's uh, it's an unprecedented government in po uh, post independence era that we've seen, which is I mean uh, unprecedented in the sense that so pro corporate that we've never seen such a government in the past. Uh, we've seen different phases like from 1950s to 75, 80s when it was when we uh, developed uh, our financial sector. We when we, when we went for uh, financial strengthening, for example, uh, we nationalized our insurance, we nationalized our banking sector because the private banks were in a complete mess. Uh, so, but this government and, uh, is completely pro-corporate and you see all the laws of the land that were enacted in the past and that were enacted through the parliament, through the legislature, now they want to undermine that. And since they don't have a majority in, in the parliament as such, because they have a majority in the Lok Sabha but not in the Rajya Sabha, so they are vying for another uh, route and which is uh, through an ordinance uh, because there's huge bench of corporates who have really invested, invested their money during the election campaign and they promise a lot hmm. because for them, uh, they, what is the benchmark of development? For them, it is the growth of the, uh, the, 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 the domestic product, I mean GDP. We are growing at 5%, they want to take it to some, somewhere around 8-9%, but how? State has to, state, they intend to play as a major instrument. And by that, even that doesn't uh, doesn't really harm the interests of the people, but they are harming the interests of the people by, say, for example, land. Now they're diluting the provisions of the Land Acquisition Act. Uh, you know, the previous government had amended that after too many uh, um, uh, agitations and uh, and protests by the farmers, and already two lakh suicides have taken place. So though that is also not democ that democratic, but it gives some kind of bargaining power. Uh, for the peasant vis-a-vis -vis the big corporates or vis-a-vis -vis the government because the government also is a facilitator for the corporates now. But that power also they want to uh, really dilute because they are in desperate hurry, that, that, that is all I would say. And they are working in the interests of big monopoly capitalists so that they are able to use land for the growth of their own capital. And this is what we call primitive accumulation of capital also. I mean the state is acting as a facilitator, that's an unfortunate part. And since I come from a state where large scale land acquisition has taken place for the construction of cement plants, for hydropower projects, not even a single success story I could point out where I would say, yes, the government has done, and that is of all times, where the government has done something and provided some solace to the people. And this is a model of development where the, where the people have got something. Actually, people have been ruined. They've lost their land. They've lost their everything. And now, after 10 years or 15 years down the line, they find themselves nowhere. So where are the success stories? I don't find any success stories. Actually, you find success stories of the corporates, but you don't find success stories of the people the and of, people. of the common people and of the peasantry by large.